Let's move on then, friends. <laughs> Let's move on. I knew that was coming. Luka. Yep, you saw a little bit of highlights from it before it made Richard gasp. A little different than anticipated. The Mavs exploded on a 28 to nothing run in the middle of this game. It was over the course of nearly 10 minutes. It was in the first half led to a 30 point route. Warriors 10th in the West. Post game, well, the guys I'm tried not, to explain. Not concerned about uh, a nine minute scoring drought. I'm concerned about defense. I'm, I'm concerned about a level of uh, intensity and, and preparation and and competitiveness that's um, that's what was missing I obviously want to play better I obviously want to be in a situation where you're um you know competitive and rising to the level of competition and we didn't do it tonight was kind of like a playoff game for Dallas you know they lost last night uh, they know we were right on their heels um they came out like a like it was a playoff game and we came out like it was an exhibition game and uh, very disappointing. Steve Kerr is disappointed over that run. The Warriors missed 18 shots in a row. That's the longest scoring drought since 2009. The Mavericks scoring 28 straight came despite shooting only 44% from the field. Richard, what was your takeaway from that historic run last night? Well, look, the, the Mavericks kind of did like a Steph Curry on the Warriors where they just got hot and it wasn't anything that you can do. Look, ultimately, this Warriors team, we understand. Unless Steph Curry is playing like an MVP every single night, that they're going to struggle. They, this is not the, the same Warriors team. And Vince knows this as well as I do. There's five or six games that no matter what you do, you're not going to win that game because the other right. team is just hot, the turnovers, the calls. Right. And so this was just one of those nights for the Warriors. They've had a few of them before, but it's, I don't think that this is that big of a deal. Yeah, but at the same time, 28-0 run. At some point, you know, you call a timeout just to, to throw the rhythm. I mean, you go throw your arms up to get a free throw to stop the run or something. You know, and one thing I will say about this team is, you know, that's why I feel Dallas is a very scary team up and down you talk about him sometimes you don't talk about him. obviously Luca is doing what he what he's been doing and scoring and, and some when sometimes he's just unguardable you know he can score at all levels you know and then when he has other guys hitting threes like they were doing and then their defense stepping up what, what can you do so I think the Mavericks are a scary team and they were making a statement Steve Kerr said is that they they know that we're on their heels so they hey they're punching them say hey we're get back we see you creeping up in that rear view, get on back. And you know what this is? This is the lashing that the the the, the Warriors have been right. given to teams for the last <laughs> couple of years. <laughs> this is payback. This is the opportunity. You know the you know the term, kick them while they're down. That's yeah. what pe people are doing. So like you said, if Steph's not playing 45 points, you know, getting 45, 50 points or shooting like he's doing, they're going to struggle. Well, this goes back to the point about the Mavericks. You say how dangerous Luka is. Clippers Suns tonight. Someone wants to get out of that third seed because if they can get up to two, they don't have to face what would right now be Luka Doncic in the first round. And as we saw last night, the guy can play basketball. Just saying. Uh, might want to tell Sacramento that. I'm not going to bring that up again. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.